Evo Max Series Flight Control Settings. Power on the aircraft and enter the main interface of the Enterprise app. Click System Settings to set the RTH altitude. Please ensure that the aircraft is higher than all obstacles around the area. Set the altitude limit, distance limit, and flight mode. Smooth, standard, or ludicrous. Home point settings. There are two ways to set the home point. Either by the takeoff point or by the current position of the remote controller. Compass calibration. Enter the calibration interface and start calibrating according to the animation. Before calibration, keep away from metal or electrical objects and keep the aircraft at least 1.5 meters above the ground. During the process, do not power off the aircraft or start the motor. IMU Calibration Enter the calibration interface and start calibrating according to the animation. Place the aircraft on flat ground before calibration. And do not move, power off, or restart the aircraft during the process. Lost Action If the aircraft gets lost, you can choose between allowing the aircraft to return, hover, or land with the default setting as Return to Home. OA Settings Click the Obstacle Avoidance button to configure when the aircraft detects obstacles within the range. Settings include the aircraft beeping and activating emergency stop when obstacles are detected. RC Settings Access the Remote Controller Settings interface and adjust how the controller works for maximum comfort. You can switch between three stick layouts, classified as Mode 1, 2, and 3. Go back to the RC Settings interface and click RC Calibration. Do not touch the sticks before clicking the Start button. Click to start calibration and follow the prompts, holding for one second in each direction until the prompt arrow turns blue, confirming the calibration was successful. Click RC Custom button to set shortcut functions according to your usage habits. Click EXP to adjust the stick sensitivity for maximum comfort. Click Connect to Aircraft to link the remote controller with the aircraft. On Transmission, you can adjust image transmission resolution and split-screen effects as needed. As for battery, you can check the estimated flight time and aircraft health status. You can also preset low battery warnings by severity. Click Gimbal to configure the gimbal. You can adjust the gimbal pitch sensitivity. If the gimbal is not level, you can either enable automatic calibration or manually fine-tune the gimbal. Click More. You can set units, lights, language, and view the current version and firmware info of the aircraft and the remote controller. When the GNSS signal is weak, visual positioning may also be enabled and configured here. Thanks for watching.